This is going to be a demonstration on how to download and do the initial setup of the NVMS 7000 application for Apple devices. If you have an Android device, there is a tutorial for those down in the link in the description below. The first thing you want to do is to verify that you have internet access. And then next, we're going to locate and open the Apple App Store. When you do that, you will be in the App Store and we're going to look for the search bar. The search button here is on the bottom right here in the corner. It might be located somewhere else on your device. And we're going to search for the app. The app is called NVMS7000. No spaces. You can see it typed out at the top. We're going to search for it. It came right up on this top one for me. Uh, sometimes if you search for it, it might not be the very top one. So make sure that whenever you search for it, this is the application that you're going to be at. And when you find it, go ahead and download it. You'll need your Apple ID and password if you're downloading it for the first time. And once it's downloaded, you can open it from here or find where the app was populated on your phone when you downloaded it. And when you open it, you're going to get prompted with a message that says NVMS 7000 would like to send you notifications. Notifications may include alerts, sounds, and icon badges. These can be configured in settings. Next, we're going to have to select our region. I am in America. And then I'm going to search through this bar to find USA. Once you type in your region, hit enter. And now this is the camera page. We don't have any cameras showing up. In the top left hand corner, we have a little window bar. If we click on that, it brings up a little menu. We're going to go to devices. NVMS 7000 would like to access the camera. After enabled, you can use your device camera to scan the QR code. So if you want to scan a QR code, you can allow this. And it also would allow like access to your photos. So if you're planning on having uh, clips saved from your security system, you can view clips and also take photos. You will have to allow that to have access to those features, but that's up to you. So here is your device list. You can have more than one device, but we have no devices at this time. In the top right, we can click that menu and it has a little drop down menu. We're going to manually add a device. And now I'm just going to show you in this, in this window, we have a lot of things that we need to fill out. I'll show you what each one is and what they mean. The first one is alias. This is just a nickname for whatever device you have. So you can call this whatever you want. It does not have to be anything in particular. So I'm just going to name it office. Next is register mode. It should remain IP domain. The address that is unique to you and that should have been given to you by your installer. So let me just enter mine very quickly. And then the port should be 8000. And then your username and password. Also, this should be something that is given to you uh, by your installer. So let me put mine in very quickly. And finally, the number of cameras. That, you do not need to touch that. Even if you have more cameras installed than one, it always defaults to saying one until you access it for the first time, and then it will populate with the correct number. Once you have all this filled out with your information that's personal or unique to you, we're going to save it and view in the top right 
there's a, a save button that looks like a floppy disk. If we click on that, now we can see at the bottom it says start live view. When we click start live view, there we go. We have access to our cameras and there's my partner Richard Basmeyer. And that is how to do the initial setup and download the NVMS 7000 application for Apple devices.